Hi! Today we're going to make an easy and delicious vegetable salad. Now we need mayonnaise, which we will show you how to do in another recipe. If you click on the link, you will get to the mayonnaise recipe. And we need three large eggs. We're going to hard boil these eggs. And diced vegetables. Now we've got carrots, potatoes, peas, green beans, basically any vegetable that you like. Or you can buy a pack of ready, ready-made ones already cut for you. We boil the eggs for around 10 minutes. And we also cook the vegetables in hot water for about 5 or 6 minutes from when they start to boil and add some salt. Now it's important to keep an eye on them, testing the potato, because if it's too done then the potato will just disintegrate. And it's nice to have the little lumps of potatoes. So we cover that up. And when it's done, we drain it. And to stop the cooking process, we have a bowl of cold water. And we put the sieve into the bowl like that. And the cold water will then stop the, the vegetables for cooking, for cooking any more. If you might need to do this a couple of times if you see the water is very hot. Now when it's cool, we add it to a bowl. And we add the chopped hard-boiled egg. The mayonnaise. As you can see, it's, it's a nice thick mayonnaise that we've made. You can also use jarred, but I do prefer to use the homemade. So we add the mayonnaise to the to the mixture. And mix it well in. You have to get right to the bottom, otherwise the mayonnaise is, is, doesn't get mixed in well with the vegetables. And if you're serving the dish actually directly onto the table, it's nice to put a little decoration on, so we just put a whole olive in the middle and some red pepper, cooked red pepper. And then I've halved some olives here to put round the sides. You could also add a little grated carrot or anything that, that you like really to decorate on the top. And here we have the finished product. You can also use it for garnish with other dishes. Here we've got a pork cordon bleu, which we have another recipe for. Now you can see we've done it in a nice round mould with some breadsticks, decorating, and with some olives. Until the next time from Mediterranean Recipes, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.